Hey, it's uh, Ben Kuzma from Province Sports. Uh, welcome to our Canucks panel. We've got Ed Willis here, our columnist. Our favorite uh, free agent, our PTO tryout guy, Jeff uh, Patterson here. A lot of interesting topics, of course, uh, on the Canuck front. Of course, the number one topic right now, Nikita Trampkin. That's right, folks. It's Trampkin, not Triampkin, not Triampkin. We learned this morning that it's Nikita Trampkin. Ed, uh, obviously an intriguing guy here. First uh, uh, comparison that comes to, to mind is Zdeno Chara. Uh, what do you think? Well, I, I think the best part about this story is there's this Sid Finch aspect to it. <laughs> like, he is really, like, like just dropped out of the sky. There is so little known about him, you know, a, a, except in the scouting community, yeah. people who've, you know, seen him play in the KHL. So there's almost this mythology built about him. He, like, he's six foot seven, but he skates like a six footer, and he's got this amazing slap shot, and he could be Chara, but he could be a new and improved Chara. It's been a while since the Canucks or any team yeah. had somebody like that just kind of come in like this. So I think it's just a fantastic story. Jeff, uh, he's going to be here, obviously, on a, on a two-year contract. He's already burned a year because he's going to play at some point. Uh, let, let's fast forward to next year. It, he wants to play here, Jeff. Where does he slot in? You're moving already past this year. Where does he I'm, slot I'm, in, I'm, Jeff? I'm, come I'm on. About the here and now. Come I want to see this guy. Uh, there's so many questions uh, on the Canuck defense, and I think that's one of the things that makes this situation so intriguing yeah. is where does he slot in? And, you know, he's got these remaining 16 games. Who knows how many he will play, but there are 16 games for the Canucks to try to get a sense of, you know, just what he is yeah. and what he's capable of. But I just love the fact that there is this I mean, the mid-season aspect of it as well, this guy being airlifted in. I love the fact that there are so many experts in this city and in the hockey world based on YouTube clips. Yeah. You know, people seem to think they've got the book on this guy. You know, why was he passed over in the draft at that size? Yeah. You know, I look at the KHL and then I see that Cam Barker is leading the KHL in scoring among defensemen. I mean, that tells me something. It doesn't tell me everything, but, you know, so so, again, there are just so many mysteries around uh, Trampkin, but I'm excited to see. Uh, but with this out clause in his contract, you know, I mean, he's made it pretty clear that it's here or back to Russia. So uh, the Canucks have to be hoping that this guy is, in fact, a player. Here's how I see it playing out. And you're right about who is this guy. I mean, is he... Is, is he Hal Gill? <laughs> we don't know. I mean, we, we understand that he moves extremely well on the international ice surface. And I'm like everybody else. I looked at the YouTube clips. I was trying to... I saw him play and talked to some people who saw him play at the World Junior. You understand why he was passed over a couple of times because he was kind of like silly putty. He was this big thing and they didn't know what they could mold him into. Uh, the thing I like is his mobility. Uh, I wonder about the North American ice surface though because time and space become an issue. Uh, he doesn't move the puck that well. But again, we don't know for sure. I like the fact that he's getting games I like the fact that next year the Canucks can probably say, we know you have the out clause, but, but ha understand we're going to carry eight defensemen. We might want you to start the year in Utica, get 20 games, and you'll come back up. That's going to be an interesting tug of war. I think if Nikita really thinks about it uh, through his interpreter or maybe how <laughs> good his English might be by that time, he'll understand that if there's a process here that he might start the year in Utica and be here. But the fact, I like the fact uh, that they're carrying uh, eight defensemen next year and he's going to have a chance uh, to work his way in.